Testing the DC-DC converter. Disconnect the wire harness. If you can look in here, these are pins 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6 is blank. Connect the voltmeter leads to 1 and 2, and it should be battery voltage. On 2 and 3, you should have battery voltage. Set the DVOM to ohms. If you touch the leads, it should be. Disconnect the lead off of the uh, solenoid. I've already removed the bolt. Put one lead on pin four. And on the positive wire, it should beep. On the negative wire, pin 5, and it should beep. And, oh. Reconnect the connector. Yep, there's our 12 volts. Hooking the wire up. And the solenoid clicks and the mower will work. Now, if you don't have 12 volts on this wire, since all the tests have passed at this point in time, the DC-DC converter is bad. But if you want to test the rest of the motor, mower disconnect the the dc dc converter again and i've already made the jumper up ta-da it's a milwaukee battery 12 volt battery that's all it takes and i've tested the leads to figure out which one's positive and which one's negative because they got to be right on the solenoid put the negative lead on here on the negative one, the positive lead on here, and the solenoid will click. And you can even start your mower at that point in time. The mower will work. So you could actually drive the mower off of a, a small 12 volt battery if you had a bad DC DC converter. So that's testing the DC-DC converter. And you might as well say we just tested the solenoid that too. That little blue terminal there with the red wire, that's where pin number one gets its power from. Pin number three gets its power from the key switch. So that should cover everything and then, like I said, the bottom two are 12 volt once everything's hooked up. 